Welcome to the blind battle of the Free Ranch single barrel barrel proof bourbons. I'm your host Sam and this is Whiskey and SV. All right, so it's Sunday night again and um, I need to go to bed. Uh, I have an early day tomorrow, but uh, being the dedicated person that I am, I told you I'd put an episode out of per week and uh, I'm going to stay true to that word. Um, so it's going to be a quick one today because um, this weekend we had some pretty heavy uh, drinking sessions and um, I've been... Uh, not drinking all day today, but, uh, you know, I need to put this episode out. Uh, so, um, you know, for science, you know, it has to be done. So, um, uh, so yeah, the, the theme of this one is obviously um, uh, a comparison of a single barrel barrel proof bourbons by Frey Ranch. And um, as I've told you before, uh, Frey Ranch is a very small craft distillery in Fallon, Nevada. And um, the, their whole shtick is that they are um, farm to bottle. They do everything in house. They grow all their grains. They do all the distillation there. They do all the bottling there. And um, I think uh, 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 a couple of days ago, they came out with uh, their uh, new uh, kind of like, uh, I guess, a sub, uh, a new product called the Farm Strength, uh, which is like their batch proof product. Um, and uh, the, I, the idea with that is that it's very hard to get single barrels. So uh, there's a lot of competition over getting uh, single barrel picks from them. And uh, they're now just trying to have their own distiller. Uh, the, 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 the master distiller there will, will blend a bunch of uh, barrel proof uh, bourbons. And instead of calling batch proof, they call it farm strength. Um, but anyways, I don't have one of those here, but um, I do have these, uh, you know, uh, the single barrel barrel proof ones that are picks uh, and uh, uh, there's a K and L wines pick. There is a um, uh, one that is from uh, which one is this one from? From Plum Jack Wines and Spirits uh, in San Francisco, and then uh, this one is the SFW BSS pick. So uh, three different uh, barrels, uh, and uh, the K and L wines is barrel 938, which is the one that I um, really really loved. And uh, if 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 I you know if if you know me and you know my channel. Uh, this is one that I uh, don't really like to share with people. Uh, it's uh, it has a very uh, close uh, place in my heart. Unfortunately, it's uh, almost uh, you know two thirds gone, so there's not a lot of it left. So I'm becoming even more stingy about it. Uh, and I want to see is it really that much better compared to the, to these other picks, uh, or am I just aggrandizing aggrandizing in my head uh, this 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 mythical uh, whiskey that is actually you know not as good as I think it is. Uh, but uh, we'll see tonight in a blind, hopefully. Um, so yeah, this one is at sixty seven point zero five percent ABV, barrel nine thirty eight again. Uh, second one here is the Plum Jack one. Uh, this one is barrel um so yeah so let's take a look at that um this one is barrel 1108 and it's at 68.54 percent abv actually uh, this is funny because um i think there's a there's a there's a there a math error on there if you look at the if you look at the um proof on this this is 136.90 um and then uh, but divided by two it shouldn't be uh 68.54 um yeah, it's, it's, this, 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 is, this is wrong. Like the, the, the divide by two doesn't make sense, but uh, I think uh, this kind of makes it a bit interesting. Okay, and then uh, finally we have the SFW BSS 22 bottling. Uh, this one is barrel 1815. And it comes with this really cool sticker on the back. Uh, this is by far the, um, uh, the least ABV of all these is 61.2%. So. Um, you know, it's a good um, seven, eight percent less than uh, seven percent uh, less than the uh, other two, almost right. Okay, so uh, let's uh, quickly pour these. I want to pour half ounce samples, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And we'll give uh, number one, we'll go to the KNL wines. Put that aside. Uh, number two, we'll go to the um, Tom Jack. Number two. Okay. And number three, we'll go to the SFWBSS one. All right. 
sure this is number three. Yep. Okie doke. Right, so we'll uh, mess around a little bit and then put them on here and make sure we don't drop this again. <laughs> I've uh, been known to do that before. Okay, I'll let that go for a bit, um, and I'll uh, look around. By the way, um, I've been doing um, some uh, re. I have some shelves up there now that uh, I can't really show, but uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, at some point I'm going to give another tour because I've been doing some work in this room and just kind of like uh, reorganizing my things. And um, I have a new rule now. Whenever I open a whiskey, I actually um, take a two ounce sample and uh, keep it for my ar archives uh, because I realize especially with batch proof stuff um, you know you definitely want to have like an idea of what that whiskey tasted like when it was opened uh, later uh, and compared with other ones okay without further ado let's get started I think uh, we'll uh, we'll stop this now and we'll put them out here put this away okay so I'm going to start um, Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I'll. Um, I guess I'll just uh, start by uh, the nose. You know, um, so Frey Ranch is uh, famous for that grassy note, um, and it is quite um, unique. I mean, uh, actually, today I was doing some uh, gar gardening and uh, mowing the lawn, and this is exactly fresh cut grass that I get out of it. Fresh cut gra grass. Plus, you know, vanilla, caramel, um, kind of like candy, sweet notes. It's excellent. Um, I don't think that is uh, the grassiness on this is not my. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's my beloved nine thirty eight. But we'll see. Okay. Okay, this one seems a lot higher proof than the other one, so I'm gonna guess this is probably the SFW BSS one. And this is just very high proof. And I remember this one, this one is like one, one, one percent ABV more than this, but I just remember it being distinctly, uh, not as grassy. I mean, it's of course has a grassy note, but it's, it just feels more high proof and not necessarily like as it, it, it seems it's almost too high proof that it's like kind of a bit closed off. So. Okay, so let's go for the last one. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> the nose on the 938 is so obvious. It's just the grassy note is so much livelier than these two. It's just, and you know, I don't know. It's also two thirds um, down now. So, but I, I, I was getting the same kind of like nose uh, even when it was like, you know, further, much further up. So I'm almost certain that this is a 938. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that this high proof one is this. So even just on the nose, I think I I already already I already know the answers. But uh, just to be sure, let's go uh, and uh, and go on the pout. So I'll go with uh, what I think is uh, the uh, K and L one is nine thirty eight. Oh my god, that's so good! Wow, that grassy note like hits you right up front. And then there's this um, syrupy, um, sweet caramel uh, notes um, uh, with, with some like slight oak that just like develops and then like some spices come out and it's chest warming as it goes down. And that syrup and grassy note just like lingers. It's, it's not like a typical bourbon. Let's put it that way. I think if you like bourbon and you go... If you really like the traditional bourbon um, kind of profile and you and you try a Frey Ranch, you may actually not like it because it's just so different than what a traditional bourbon is. It's it's a very different, unique taste. And it really makes me think of a farm and fresh cut grass. And it's it's crazy. OK, let's uh, let's try this one. Um, so I think this one is the um, uh, Plump Jack one. It's a lot more sharp um, and a little closed off. Like when I when I have this, 
there's more um there's almost some minty flavors to it and it's more um almost too concentrated it just feels like it could probably actually use some water it would probably make it a lot better if it had some water let me let me actually like grab some water and see i think this one could definitely do with some water it, it's just a bit closed off it's it seems it just doesn't feel as um yeah the the, the flavors don't seem like they're actually like opening up uh enough um which is a kind of a shame actually because it's, it is a higher proof one and okay you know with with some water and with a significant amount of water as you saw i, I did two full squares from this so it's like two uh yeah it's like two milliliters i added um the nose is already much more opened up it's much more close to uh, my beloved 938 not quiet but actually let me do it side by side okay now i need to be careful because um i might be getting a bit ahead of myself and uh trying too much yeah unfortunately on the palette is still not opening up the same way that i was hoping um i get a lot more like minty flavors on this and like more like mint extract so there's that uh slight it's sweet but also bitter um because it's like just super concentrated um so like kind of a little bit medicinal in some ways uh not so for for this one um it's still a solid bourbon i mean don't get me wrong i would prefer this to a lot of bourbons but it doesn't even come close to my beloved 938. What should, if I'm wrong about this, this is going to be like really terrible, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. This one is noticeably lower proof. Um, and, you know, on the nose, you don't get any of the proofiness that you get on this. This is just like proper proofy and not necessarily in the most elegant way. Uh, this. Uh, I actually get, other than the grassy note and the vanilla and caramel, I get some frolot aspects in it, which is which doesn't exist in the other two at all. So, yeah, and there's even some oak on it. I think it's like, because it's so much lower proof, um, it definitely it comes across as a completely different uh, profile. Yeah, so... On the palette, um, the grassy note is there, but it's not as pronounced as this, nowhere near as pronounced as that. It's still there. Uh, I get more of like the, the oak coming out on this and, um, you know, along with the, you know, the caramel and the vanilla, but um, I, I definitely like get more like oaky notes in this one for some reason. Yeah, it's weird. I don't, I don't know why the oak is so much more prominent in this. There's those just drying tannins uh, that dry my tongue, and um, it's it's actually I would say I prefer this to the plum jack. I think the plum jack honestly is just like um, just there's something about it that just feels closed off. It just feels like it's not I'm not like able to like fully appreciate the flavors because they just like shut down my taste buds. Um, maybe it just needs to be like even proof down a little bit more more okay um right oh my god this is so good okay let's do the reveal let's do it let's uh let's see how i did okay number one no surprises this is going to be number two yes it is number two and number three okay so um, there you have it, folks. Um, it's um, I think um, I got them all right, but uh, I have changed my mind about which I like to be in number two spot in terms of a preference. Definitely, no one touches this, so I need to really nurse this because there's only like um, a third left. Uh, I do have a two-ounce sample uh, stash away somewhere as well. Um, this uh, SFWBSS one with the cool sticker. This is definitely number two. And then last, um, I have the Plum Jack. I got a backup of the Plum Jack because initially when I tried it, it, it felt like um, it was 
it was really good and I could get it at a good price because a friend of mine um, has membership at the shop and he was able to get it at a discount. Uh, so I do have a backup of it, but now I wonder if the backup was even worth getting because I am actually not sure that I enjoy it um, as much as uh, as much as I thought. So I would probably be looking to trade that one away uh, and maybe try a different one. Um, but uh, or maybe over time it'll open up and then I'll change my mind. But actually, already with the water added in, this has become a lot more floral. Okay, so I better go edit this and post it and go to bed. So thanks for joining me. And um, please hit uh, like and subscribe and comment, uh, as uh, you know the YouTube people say, uh, because it does make a difference, and I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much, and see you next week.